Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, let's find the value of x in this particular question. Okay, first of all, for the fact that x can be factorized further gives us an insight on how to go about this. But I will ask and I will tell you to trade with caution. Yes, because this is a very tricky question. If not, you won't be able to find the values of your x. Trust me. Now, let's go straight to the point. So, recall that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. Okay? So, that means that we can factorize x to the power of 6 as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2. Since 3 to the power of 2, since 3 times 2, it still give us 6, right? Minus x to the power of 3 is equal to 2. Please, least I forget. Don't mind my writing. I am not left-handed. supposed to be writing like this for me to be comfortable. But because I'm right-handed, I'm forced to be writing like this. And I have to maintain this for some time because I need to use more of my board. Okay? So, no matter how the writing is coming, just be taking it like that. So, let's continue. Now, we have x to the power of 3, x to the power of 3. Let's call it something to simplify our equation, okay? So we say let x to the power of 3, okay, be equal to a. Let's just call it a. Or let me use another alphabet because a it looks like um, 9. Okay, so is equal to b. All right, so that means that we can write this as what? b squared, right, minus b to the minus b, sorry, b squared, since x to the power of 3 is b, so it's b squared minus b is equal to 2. Now, that means we can write this as b squared minus b minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, let's go ahead and factorize this. So, we need two factors of minus 2 that when we add them, we get minus 1. That is the the coefficient of b and those two values should be uh, 1 and minus 2 because 1 times minus 2 will give us minus 2 and 1 minus 2 will give us minus 1 so that means we can replace minus b as plus b and minus 2b right so let's do that so we have b squared plus b minus 2b minus 2 is equal to 0 Okay, now we can uh, go ahead and factorize by grouping. Okay, so if we group this and this, we have B. They have B in common. B squared divided by B, we give us B. And B divided by B, we give us 1, right? Minus, what do they have in common? They have 2. Now, 2B divided by, sorry, minus 2B divided by minus 2, we give us what? Plus B. And minus 2 divided by minus 2, we give us plus 1, is equal to 0. Now, we have the same thing inside the bracket, okay? So, that means we can write this as what? B plus 1, all right? Multiplied by B minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, now it's time for us to enter into the interesting part of this video. So, if this is the first time you're seeing this face, why haven't you subscribed yet? Please subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell so I'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. So I don't miss my amazing videos. Okay. All right. Now this is what we have. Therefore, we can now say what b plus one multiplied by b minus two is equal to zero. So we have two values of b here, right? So we can say that b plus one is equal to zero. And that b minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, I think it's time for me to turn. Oh, now I'm comfortable. Okay, so from equation 1, from equation 1, we can see that b is equal to minus 1. And from equation 2, we can see that b is equal to 2. Like I said, trade with caution. Because we are not actually looking for the value of b. Recall that we are looking for the value of x. So let's go ahead and get the value of our x. Now, the first value said that b is equal to minus 1. But recall, recall that b, according to here, b is equal to x to the power of 3. 
So b is equal to x to the power of 3. Let me shift so that you see it very well. x to the power of 3 is equal to b. Okay? So that means that once we said that, let's go for the first equation. If b is equal to x to the power of 3, for the first equation, we can say that x to the power of 3 is equal to minus 1, right? So let's write that. x to the power of 3 is equal to minus 1. Now, how do you solve this? How? Okay, this is how we go about it because this is actually a polynomial. Now, this minus we cross to become plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, when you look at this, you notice that we can express 1 as 1 to the power of 3 without changing its value, right? So, we can write x to the power of 3 plus 1 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Now, we are going to go back to our algebra identity. Yes, the one that says that a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 is equal to a plus b, okay, multiplied by a squared minus ab plus b squared, okay? So we are going to try to express this in this form, okay? So that means that we can rewrite this part of the equation as what? x plus 1, right? Because our a is x and our b is 1. So we can write this as what? x plus 1 multiplied by, now a squared, that is x squared. So we have x squared minus a b, that is x times 1, which will still give us x, plus b squared, that is 1 squared, which will still give us 1. Everything is equal to 0. Okay, now follow me to clean this because you don't really need it anymore. So I'm going to draw my line right now and we continue. So from here, we have formed two brackets again. So the first bracket is that x plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, and the second bracket is what? x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, from this side, we can say that x is equal to minus 1, right? Okay, so we can actually call this the first value of our x. Now, looking at this now, we cannot solve this by factorization, right? So let's go ahead and use the quadratic equation formula. So using the quadratic equation formula, we can say that um, x is equal to minus b plus or minus, this place is small. Okay, now we have that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of what? b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. So we go ahead and solve that x is equal to, our b is going to be the coefficient of x, our a is the coefficient of x squared. B is coefficient of x, y, c is our constant, okay? So let's write that down, that A is equal to coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Our B is minus 1, coefficient of x, and our C is 1, which is the constant. So let's actually, um, let's substitute these values into our words, into this particular uh, formula. So we can now write that x is equal to Minus b, that is minus minus 1, which will give us plus 1, right? Plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is minus 1 squared, which will give us 1. Then minus 4ac, that is 4 multiplied by a multiplied by c, which will still give us 4, okay? Divided by 2a, recall that our a is 1, so 2 times 1 will still give us 2. Therefore, x is 1 plus or minus square root of what? minus 3 divided by 2. So we can write that x is equal to 1 plus or minus. Now, this is going to be root 3i because we can express this as root 3 multiplied by root minus 1 and root 3 is root 3. Why root minus 1 will give us i? Divided by 2. Now, look at this. We have two values of x here, which we can actually call uh, second value and the third value. But for the fact that we have i here, this is not going to give us real root, right? So because of that, we are going to leave this and focus on this. We got this, but recall, I told you to be careful. Yes, 
we have gotten the first value of our, the real value of our x which is minus one but don't forget that all this while we've been solving for what b is equal to minus one that is what we've been solving now we are going to solve for b is equal to two you see why i said you should tread with caution so that you're able to get all the values of x i told you right now let's quickly solve for what b equals to now i'm going to clean from here i'm only going to leave this or write it down somewhere that the first real value is that x is equal to minus one then let me clean from here and then let's solve for two and see if we have real values there as well okay now this is what we have for b equal to 2, recall that our b is equal to x to the power of 3. So we can actually write that x to the power of 3 is equal to 2. Now look at this. This is actually easy to get. And wait, we are still going to substitute these values into our equation to see if what we got is right. Okay? Now look at it. We have x to the power of 3. Let's raise this to the power of 1 over 3. And this side to the same thing, power of 1 over 3. Since we are looking for the value of x, so that 3 we divide 3 and we have that the second, okay, let, this is the fourth value, right? That the fourth value of x, which is another real value, is 2 to the power of 1 over 3. Now, it's time to check. If you watch to this uh, stage, I just want to say a, a very big thank you for watching to this stage. And I would like you to uh, write for me in the comment section, I did. And that will make me to know that yes this particular person watched to the end thank you so much now this is it so check let's check our what our solutions the question says x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 is equal to 2 and the first value is that x is equal to minus 1 so we are going to have minus 1 to the power of 6 minus minus 1 to the power of 3 okay is equal to 2 now when you when your negative number is being raised to a, pos a an even number, when the power is even, you are going to get even as your solution, right? So minus 1 to the power of 6 will give us 1. Minus, now this is odd number, 3. That means um, our solution will still be minus 1. So we are still going to have minus 1 here is equal to 2. So 1 minus times minus will give us plus. So we are going to have 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. And 2 is equal to 2. So this is actually correct. Now that is the first one. Now the main one is 2 to the power of 1 over 3, right? Let's see if that is correct as well. So we got x to be equal to 2 to the power of 1 over 3. So raised to the power of 6. Minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3. Raised to the power of 3. Is equal to 2. Now 3 is going to divide this to give us what? 2 to the power of 2. Minus this, we divide this to give us only 2, is equal to 2. So we have 2 to the power of 2, which is 4, minus 2, right, is equal to 2. And 2 is equal to 2. So there, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you a lovely day.